Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a ain't got no time back to school <laughs> makeup tutorial. Um, I'm calling it this, like to, to be honest I have so much fun with my titles, like it, I just find them so funny. But anyways, um, I just basically did a tutorial for like if you're going to school and you have no time, you're just in a rush um, and you just want something simple and easy for like every day. This is what I've got for you guys. My eyes are very simple, which is like mascara, that's why I put my glasses there. These are from eBay, by the way. I'll try to link them in the info box if I can. But also, if you want to see more of like a glam first day makeup tutorial, let me know as well. I can do that. Because to be honest, I personally don't wear that much makeup to school, only like maybe on the first day, but that's it. So yeah, give this video a big thumbs up if you do want to see that, and I'll just jump straight into the video. Look at all these baby hairs at the back yeah so please mind my uh, don't know what the situation is please mind it i will fix it up at the end i just can't move it right now um you know you just, when you just have one of those days where you just can't be bothered to deal with your hair but anyways the first thing i'm going to do is use my body shop skin defense even if i'm a rush i'll always find time to put this on my face because i get so paranoid seriously it's like not sticky it's just lightweight and it does the job. Then I'm going to go in with my Nip and Fab Primer Water. Next, I'm going to use some of my Ordinary Foundation in 2.1 Wide. Actually, I just put this in my hands and I just put it on it like a moisturiser. At first, it will look a bit weird, but when you start blending it, and plus I've got a bit of a tan so my foundations are a bit light for me at the moment. But that's okay. For me, that just evens it out. And you know when it just makes it all one tone. And next I'm going to use my L'Oreal Brow Artist Expert in Ebony. I've really been enjoying this brow pencil. This is what the angle looks like. It's kind of like an angled triangle shape. I'm just going to brush my brow hairs in place. I'm just going to follow... And my brow shape and like the brow hairs I do like to extend it a little bit because my brows are quite short on the top my brow hairs go downwards so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm going to go in with my NYX Gotcha Cover Concealer as always. This is in the shade Golden. I'm just going to set them brow hairs in place. I think that looks a bit better. They're a bit harsh, but that's okay. I'm now gonna use my Maybelline H1 Concealer in Nude. I really like that highlighted look. Right, then next up I'm going to use my W7 Banana Dreams Powder. Do a bit of baking. 
I'm now going to be using my Master Bronze Palette. I'm going to grab this shade right here. I really love this bronzer, it's just so quick and easy to blend. I'm also going to use the brush, the blush colour. Can't speak. So pretty. And then also the highlight colour. Oh, actually. Actually, I just need to blend away this baking. And then I'm going to do my highlight. This is why I love this palette because it's just so versatile and like everything's in it. And then I'm going to grab my Nip and Fab water again, <laughs> primer water, and I'm just going to set everything in. I just like everything to just melt together. I don't like it to look powdery whatsoever. For my eyes, I like when I'm legitimately when I'm in a rush. All I do is I take like a big fluffy brush and I'm gonna grab the bronzer shade that I used. And I'm just gonna literally put that all over and just blend it. Or I would use eyeshadow, like one coloured eyeshadow, but because it's part we're using this palette. It's actually quite nice on the eyes. I'm also going to grab this end colour here. Just put that all over. I mean, it's not going to be fancy, and to be honest, you don't need to put eyeshadow if you don't want to. Or you can just go in with your bronzer colour. Do a quick curl. Then I'm going to use my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This car is like literally the best mascara of life. I have branched out a bit with mascaras and I've discovered some other ones that are really really good. But this one, I always come back to it like it's just really good. It just builds on itself really well so it allows me to get length but also that volume. Now on to lips. I'm going to first use my Primark lip pencil in Toffee. Then I'm going to use my Rimmel Stay Matte liquid lipstick in Mocha. This is like to me one of the best drugstore liquid lipstick I have. It just stays on and it doesn't like fade away. It looks crazy right now, but just wait. Just wait till it dries. Just fart. I'm just gonna let down my hair. These bubble hair bands, the ones that are like squiggly, they're so convenient. Then when it's dry, just go back with your lip liner. I love that lip combo. I'm just gonna brush my hair out. I don't like being I like I don't like my ponytails being too neat, so I just like I like it when there's just like little bumps everywhere. Just gonna And then the final touch are my little school glasses. I 
I just think, you know when I do like a simple eye look, I just need to clean these. <sighs> I just feel like they like make your, just like completes your makeup because obviously my eyes are so simple, they're just like, there's not much on there. <sighs> Um, I just feel like it looks just really nice, you know. Just gonna put them back on. Anyways, that's the end of this tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more of like um like the glam first day one, let me know. I'll do that one for you guys. I will definitely do more like uni morning routines and nighttime routines. I really enjoyed doing those. But anyways, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Welcome to the family, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.